Can scientists predict whether someone is going to commit suicide through just a blood test? Anthony here for D News, and one of the hardest things about helping people who are contemplating suicide is actually knowing that they're contemplating it. A lot of people considering ending their lives don't search for any kind of help. But what if there's a way for doctors to tell when someone was going to have these thoughts, either now or sometime way later in their lives? Indiana University just published a study in the journal Molecular Psychiatry saying they may be able to do just that. It's the latest in a growing trend towards looking for biomarkers for mental illness. Now, biomarkers are basically just a physical way to check for a certain condition. If you get a blood test, they check your blood for biomarkers that show the presence of any diseases or illnesses. It's a really easy way to check for physical problems, but it's tricky with mental issues and brain disorders. You know, the brain has about 100 billion nerve cells, each with a thousand connections to other neurons, so we're talking about 100 trillion simultaneous informational connections. That is a lot going on at once, and finding the tiny cluster of connections that causes specific illnesses not super likely. And because mental illness is just that tricky, we mostly rely on psychiatric testing and evaluation, which is prone to all kinds of human error, right? The guidelines for diagnosing someone with a mental illness are basically checklists that are open to interpretation. Finding biomarkers for mental illnesses could help us treat them quickly and more effectively. So the researchers in Indiana decided to see if they could find a biomarker to predict whether someone would be hospitalized for a suicide attempt. They took the blood of nine men with bipolar disorder and checked their blood for similarities. Then they took those samples and they checked them against blood from men who had committed suicide and the genes of other men with bipolar disorder. And after crunching all the data, they found a particularly strong biomarker, a gene called SAT1. By looking at the blood of hospital patients and checking for SAT1 in addition to other basic health info, they were able to predict whether that patient was hospitalized for a suicide attempt with up to 80% accuracy. Now that's up from 65% before finding the SAT1 connection. So, first of all, 80% is not 100%. You should also know that the initial blood testing was only done on nine patients and nine cadavers. So, not a huge sample size. Then there's the issue of whether there are differences in results by gender or other genetic factors. They only tested men. The psychiatric community has issues with biomarkers too, not just with this study, but in general. The argument is that somebody might be genetically predisposed to a mental illness, but not actually have the illness, since there are outside factors like a patient's stress levels or environment or lifestyle. I mean, would a genetic test show the suicidal thoughts of somebody secretly struggling with abuse or addiction? There's also concern that biomarkers for mental illness could be used for discrimination by employers or insurance companies in the future. It's always important to bring up ethical concerns like that. I think it's just a long jump from diagnosis to misuse, right? More accurate biomarkers in the hands of a trained mental health professional could be a huge breakthrough in therapy. Let me know what you think down below and subscribe for more D News.